Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got episode two of a week in the life of performance engineering and I left the GoPro at home today so apologies um, if the video quality isn't the best I'm on the mobile phone but we'll uh, crack on. But today we start off the week with a Faris and Duo so they've both brought their cars in for tuning and we've got a lovely X3 um, 2 litre diesel on the dyno, 190 horsepower and then we've got, let's have a look at this one then we've got a rather nice um, <clears throat> Tiguan, 2 litre diesel, the 184 versions. So both of them got fairly similar cars, they're going to produce similar numbers, um, both for tuning. And then we've got this rather nice, where are we? Rather nice um, BMW M135i Infrared Stage 2 package. So we're already, we've already got a CSF, um, CSF intercooler, four charge pipe, it's gonna be having our ECU and TCU stage two tuning. So we'll crack on with the date and show you the results. So on to the next car, M135i having our PE stage two ECU and TCU tune, but we've also got the CSF intercooler to install and the forge, here we go, forge charge pipe. This car's already got a Wagner Sports Cat and an AFE intake, so we'll get these parts on, put on a dyno and start some testing. So now then guys, we've put the CSF um, intercooler on the car, forged charge pipe, done some testing, ECU tune, um, TCU tune, both performance engineer stage twos. Now we're just gonna take a full run. run. Finished off with the M135i, installed the CFS intercooler, charge pipe, um, forged charge pipe, PE, ECU, and TCU tune. It made 400 horsepower and 620 newton meters, so pretty good numbers. Uh, the Tiguan made um, 40 horsepower and just under 100 newton meter increase on the torque. The X3. Um, it's been into a dealership recently, it's had the latest ECU software on there, which at the moment unable to read, so that car's gonna have to come back in. But as the Monday's gone, pretty good Monday. So we'll crack on. This car's outside, I'm ready for tomorrow. So yeah, we'll take you through the day tomorrow. Right, so just about to lock up for the day and something just crossed my mind. People who watched our previous episode will remember on the Monday, we actually had a m 35 i in and an A45. And coincidentally, today, Monday, first day, we've got an M135i and an A45. Didn't actually uh, plan to put the cars in like this, it just actually happened like this. But yeah, just, I thought it was quite funny. So, day two, Tuesday, got the GoPro again, so hopefully the video quality will be a bit better. And let's start off the day today with a rather nice A45. So, let's take a quick look at this. Really nicely spec car this, it's obviously got some suspension upgraded brakes. Um, it's got some stage two hardware, and I believe it's got a, um, a hybrid turbo, but I've been told the hybrid turbo is more so um, similar to a stock, but just with um, stronger internals, because these are quite common for having weak turbos. So we're gonna crack on with the day. These cars get tuned on the road, how we used to tune them before the dyno. So yeah, we'll get some stock data logs, show you what it does. We'll, we'll get a computer generated um, dyno graph, which will give you a rough before and after, but yeah, we'll crack on and show you how it goes. Right, so finish off data log in the A45, and the next motor which we got in on a dyno is an M1, no, m 235 bike. So this one's pretty similar to yesterday. It's gonna have a PE stage two ECU tune. This is a manual as well. Um, it's got all the hardware on there. So yeah, it should make some good numbers.
Right then, so just finished off the tuning on the M235i. This one made some brilliant figures as well. It made bang on 400 horsepower and I think 600 and let's have a look. So it made four, is enough focus? 400 horsepower and 618 newton meters from 333 horsepower and 478 newton meters. So good 70 horsepower and around about 130 newton meters of torque. So really, really nice. And Really nice, lovely smooth power curve, lovely smooth torque curve. This will be one very nice M235i. We may have this car back in again at some point because the owner's possibly thinking about going down the bigger turbo route and he's after 600 horsepower, so we can only offer the help. Good morning, day three, Wednesday, and we're starting off the day with an Audi S3. This particular S3 we've had in and out the workshop for maybe four, possibly five years. Um, pretty well spec S3 to be honest. We're in a 400 horsepower. We've done quite a few bits, upgraded bits to it. So we've installed an army trucks exhaust on it. Um, upgraded suspensions around the Bilstein coilovers. Upgraded brakes as well. So we did upgraded calipers on the front, discs and pads, front and rear. Um, so quite a few bits we've just maintained it over the years to make sure it's really nice and sweet. And today it's in for a bit of a strange one so it's got the Bilstein coilovers probably installed them maybe possibly three maybe four years ago and one of the springs has failed so we've got some springs for the front only the one size failed but we thought it'd be easy just to replace the both of them at the same time so if one's weak it's possibly going to put a bit of extra load on the other side um, so we're going to replace those <coughs> and then while the car's up on the ramp we'll give it a lot of check over but once we've finished with it, we'll do a lot of sound clips so you can hear the Army Trucks exhaust because this sounds pretty cool, this S3. So next up we have a, another Mercedes. Um, this is an A200. It's got the A45 body kit on there, but it's actually an A200, which is the 1.6 petrol turbo. Um, we've just finished installing a MST intake. Rather nice intake this. Installed a couple recently and uh, pretty impressed. But, have a quick listen to this. Go on then, Steph. So that's uh, Army Tricks exhaust on the S3. And then, just had a customer's M140 pull up. He's planning on going stage two. He's already run that stage one um, ECU tune. So yeah, he's got the DCAT going on. Just about to order off the website. Get this M140 back in. So still got this Merc at the moment, which we need to finish off. The M140 Audi and then the S3. So have a look what just come in. Mercedes C63 estate, but an original 507 edition. And supposedly the owner's just been telling me that there's only 21 of these in the country so really really rare car but the 63s in the states such a nice car but yeah really cool to see first time i've actually seen um an estate 63 um 507 but yeah really really smart have a quick look Five oh seven edition. Really, really nice car. Today's actually ended up being an AMG day. Unplanned. That's what's ended up turning out to be like. Right. So this car's about to leave the C sixty three five oh seven edition. <laughs> Good morning, day four, Thursday in the workshop. We started off the day with a Ford Transit Custom. Um, tuned quite a bit of these Customs recently. We're finding quite a few transporter owners are going to the Customs because they're really good vans. This particular Custom, 20, 2015 model, 2.2, 100 horsepower version. They make mega numbers. Already tuned this car, so just have a quick look at what it produced. Where are we? Look at these numbers. So, 
100 horsepower version in stock form, made 98 horsepower and 298 newton meters. With our PE stage one tune, 177 horsepower, 422 newton meters. So 70, 75 horsepower, 120 newton meters for a van is really good numbers. The reason why they make such good numbers because the 100 horsepower and the 125 horsepower versions are detuned um, 155 horsepower version vans, so that's why they make such good numbers. But we've also got, we've got this Range Rover SVR in as well today. That's having a quick silver exhaust. We've still got that 507 uh, 63 in as well. And my partner's 318 diesel. So, just finished installing the Quicksilver exhaust on the Range Rover SVR. Have a listen to this. Quick one thing I want to show you. Have a look at this. No, it's just pick it up on the camera. So it's got the full carbon fiber body kit on you. Um, really rare option, but have a listen to this. Ugh. Got a nice little bit of bass to it now. With a factory system, it sounded a little bit hollow. We've got a soft limiter on here, but. <laughs> That's only around about. Four thousand RPM. That's what it's revving out to at the moment. So when this can sing all the way up to seven. <laughs> this is going to make one racket. So then guys, last car of the day is this beautiful E46 M3. Um, good, good customer of ours has recently bought this car. He's just sold a W204 C63, so a 6.2 version. And he's got his sort of like a childhood dream of his, um, the 46 M3. And it's my personal favorite M3, to be honest. Um, we've just put some, just put some wheel spacers on there today, so it sits nice and flush. Obviously the 46, got the huge arches on here. Don't know if you can tell so much, but in this spec, look at this. It's not got the uh, D pillars, it's got that perfect coupe look. Mega spec, brilliant color combo. It's also got the uh, screens in the back. Brilliant motor, Adele. Give it a little, uh, a little blip so we can hear it. Let's have a little listen to this. Don't know about you, but S54 engine, it is literally my favorite M car engine. It sounds brilliant. Friday morning, we've got an RS6 on the uh, ramp. Have a lot listen to this. <laughs> Range over SVR from yesterday with a Quicksilver exhaust. Mental. But last day of the week, Friday, RS6 on the ramp at the moment. That's having an oil change and inspection. And then we've got this. Sirocco R um, with a KO4 conversion. It's having some maintenance as well. We had it in on the last vlog as well, but this time it's having a uh, DSG service for this one. So yeah, we'll crack on today and show you what goes on. Right, just finished off with the oil change on the RS6 and have a look what just pulled up. A Melbourne Red E92 M3. Really stunning car, in really good condition. Really nice car, and it's with a sun, uh, with the sun on it. It's just really popping. Really love these. We had the 46 in yesterday as well. The owner just swapped it for an M2. That's right, M2. He had a Mini Cooper JCW a little while ago, wasn't it? Yeah. So he likes his cars. The whole purpose of this car is just to make it into a nice fast roll setup car with the odd lot of track day. But yeah, what a lovely M car.
RS6. Sounds pretty tasty. Lovely bit of kit. Right, last car of the week is this VW Caddy 1.6 diesel. They do two versions in the 1.6s. Uh, they do a 75 horsepower and a 105. The 75 horsepower is actually the same engine, turbo and injectors as the 105, just slightly detuned in the software. So this particular car should see some really good numbers. So, just finished tuning the VW Caddy. It's running our PE Stage 1 ECU tune really smart caddy this um, but yeah it just made some mega numbers so have a look at this stock form and actually made just a little bit less than factory so they're gonna focus uh, it made 69 horsepower and 280 newton meters and with our PE stage one tune 142 horsepower and 294 newton meters absolutely mega numbers but as you can see here so what you've got, we've got the standard power curve here. You can see it's not very smooth at all. Standard torque curve, it literally makes no torque this car. You've got a tiny little bit here, just gradually drops. But now, huge airing, look at this, massive. Torque curve, lovely, really nice and smooth. So there you have it, episode two, week in a life of performance engineering. Been another good week to do this because we have quite a lot of different vehicles in the workshop so you really get to see a good variety of cars which we tune and, and maintain and see on a regular basis. Um, going to start off with doing episode three, not going to make it a weekly thing, there's quite a bit much to do, um, to do the work and to vlog it and everything but hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.